want to talk to you really quick about the right way to use a push stick. Lots of different options for push sticks like this type, more of a handle type, push block like that. Common consensus that this type of push block or push stick is pretty garbage and you should use this one. The reason being, I'm sure you've seen before, is that the back end of the blade can potentially lift up your material as it's rotating and push up like that, right? This lifting action is what catches your board, flips it back at you, potentially pulls your hand into the blade. And it's very rarely stated though, is where you should be using your push stick or how it should be pushing on your material. Allow me to demonstrate. So let's use our imaginations and pretend we have a fence here because it'll be easier to demonstrate. What I see a lot of people do on the internet is they'll use their push stick and they'll push it here to keep their hand as far away from the blade as possible. That way actually increases your risk of kickback. Let me show you. Pushing on this side causes the piece to rotate into the blade. Pushing on this side causes the piece to rotate away from the blade. Got a fence here so now we can see a little bit clearer what's going on. So if I'm pushing on this side, close to the fence to keep my hand away from the blade as far as possible. Even though there's a fence there, you can see it start to rotate into the blade. Now, if that blade's spinning, that's gonna kick that up and flip it towards you. That's the advantage of this style of push stick is you have the ability to push some pressure on the front edge of your workpiece to keep it from kicking up. However, of course, there's gonna be a comment that says, well, you hold it like that. Of course you hold it like that. But once you get to this point, is your finger there, right? And you're not putting your finger through that little gap, are you? So once you get there, it's still rotating into the blade. Now the riving knife here will protect you a little bit, but if you push it on this side, all the way through the cut, it stays pushing up against the fence. It's rotating towards the fence, making that a safer way to use a push stick. That's less of an issue with these style of push sticks, the ones that have a little bit of downforce on the front, because you do have a little bit more control on your material. However, Physics is physics. You have essentially a rotational point here, and if you're pushing on this side, like this, the piece will rotate this way, and if you're pushing this side, the piece will rotate the other way. So the way you want your push stick is you want to be pushing closer to the blade than the center of the material, because that will rotate it into the fence and keep it pushed up against the fence and less likely to rotate into the blade, causing kickback. Hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any negative comments, I'm not interested. Hope you're all having a good night.